In an alarming display of autocracy, John Malone of Liberty Media has used the outcry over the disgraceful race manipulation in Abu Dhabi to improve the conditions for race manipulation in the future. In a reciprocal display of deference, the F1 world, including the mainstream media, have all meekly submitted to John Malone's will. The changes to the running of F1 races, which the FIA released earlier this month, do nothing substantive to prevent races from being manipulated in the future. Worryingly, by making the coverage less transparent, Liberty Media has made it easier to manipulate races in the future. This is a clear signal that Liberty Media intend to continue manipulating races in demonstration of the total contempt that they have for the integrity of the sport, the fan or the viewer. The lack of any criticism of this sham in the mainstream F1 media is evidence of the insidious influence of the all too powerful Liberty Media. The proposal to stop broadcasting radio messages to the race director is a red herring reminiscent of Liberty Media's protege's strategy for introducing laws to make it easier to subvert the people's will in response to self-proclaimed false claims of vote stealing. The lack of transparency does not all go well for the sport as it provides the FIA and F1 with better cover for manipulating races. It is a matter of public record that the broadcasting of the radio messages put the FIA under greater pressure, and the release of the weekly Marcy radio message, in particular, was possibly the tipping point for Marcy's removal. What happened in Abu Dhabi was not due to the rules or processes being unclear or inadequate, or the airing of the radio messages. On the contrary, what happened in Abu Dhabi was a case of different tiers of officials, deliberately breaking the rules to bend to Liberty Media's will. The broadcasting of the radio messages was the nail in the coffin and any attempt to suggest otherwise is in bad faith and dishonest. F1 cannot get rid of the cloud of shame hanging over the sport until it properly addresses the pervasive nature of Liberty Media's influence, which caused several levels of officials to err. Let us for the sake of argument say that Marcy, who was at the ground level, broke the rules and regulations under the pressure of race conditions so that the race did not finish under the safety car. If that was the case, then he should have been fired rather than moved aside. The moving aside smacks of a cover-up, and like most cover-ups, when one line of defense breaks, it heaps greater pressure on the next line of defense. Now that Marcy has been removed because he got it wrong in the heat of the moment, what about the steward panel that upheld his wrong decision in the cold light of day? The fact that this point has been ignored by the mainstream F1 media is another disturbing sign of Liberty Media's malignant influence. The virtual race control room has no bearing on what happened in Abu Dhabi, and the procedures related to the unlapping of cars during a safety car period were clear and unequivocal. The problem was that Marcy felt that he could break the rules at will to engineer a result that Liberty Media desired. As long as all in the F1 universe are as subservient to Liberty Media as they currently are, then all the changes will amount to nothing the next time Liberty Media demands. What is there to say that the three extra personnel introduced will not be as compliant as the four-man steward panel that rubber stamped Marcy's wrongdoing when Liberty Media demands? There is merit in putting a layer of officials between the teams and the race director during a race but there's no call for less transparency by not broadcasting the messages. Anyone who loves or loved F1 should be extremely concerned about the fact that Liberty Media have responded to the outcry about race manipulation by making it easier to hide evidence of manipulation. The fact that there are no dissenting voices in the F1 officials and the mainstream media is particularly worrying. It would appear that rather than leasing the commercial rights to the sports, Liberty Media have bought F1 outright to do with as they please.